Top to no how many times North Melbourne have marked the ball in their defensive 50 from Richmond kicks. And we'd love to tell you, but Chuman, uh, he's had to go down and really get down and uh, do some work in the rooms because Howie is calling tonight yeah. the big game. So Howie will head off to the G. Chua, ripping it to shreds down <laughs> the North Melbourne rooms. I hope he's professional and doesn't sing the theme song <laughs> and sort of uh, take off the hat for a couple of minutes and actually give it a bit of a gusto. I can see him in the middle getting a Powerade drink. <laughs> Now, Norm, how do these interviews work, guys? Do the uh, interviewers normally, normally get one, one maybe one two at most? But today, because this is extraordinary, it's only the second time since he called uh, Scott Pendlebury Scott <laughs> that he's gone down to do <laughs> another then, ground room. He interview. asked that question when you <laughs> exactly. got nothing to ask. What did the coach say? <laughs> so we're giving him game. three. Three. And if oh. the three go all right, we might let him roll oh. with it. Well, uh, here he is right now. That's all thanks to Chemist Warehouse. The Whispering, Ash Chua. Ash. Yo, 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 <laughs> yo, 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 scene setter, scene setter, scene setter. I tell you, the atmosphere is very bubbly. Reminds me of the '96, '99 premiership wins. Now nah, JB just shook his hand before. Oh, and, that was uh, exciting. Yeah, he was pretty good. He went straight to the lavatory, um, <laughs> probably to ease the tension. But uh, no, nah, look, uh, we're going to get Robbie Tarrant uh, very, very shortly. Dude, just... If we go to you uh, down the rooms and you went yo, yo, <laughs> did you? No, that was what? that was, a, was that it? was Dan, the uh, technical <laughs> assistant. Oh, I don't think it was. He was saying, "Yo, yo, Ash, you're on air." But um, uh, Robbie Tarrant, guys, we should be able to get him very, very well, shortly. You've got the first three, yeah. and if it's rolling, we're going to let you roll with the whole interview. Oh, no. <laughs> What's your first question to him, Ash? Oh, I'll keep that under my hat, Spud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, what were his stats? Have you got his stats? Uh, uh, Go, Ash. No, sorry, I think... Uh, first half, he uh, was outstanding, but... He had eight hard yakkers, two men. He's getting the message in the other ear. Five kicks, three handballs, and more importantly, Spud and Gaz, he kicked four straight. In the first half. Yep, yep. he was pretty impressive. Our little friend, uh, two day, two oh, night, yeah. uh, Spud, is standing on a box, and he's about to interview the four-goal hero, Robbie Tarrant. Jim in. Thanks, uh, Swatter. Yes, I've got uh, Robbie Tarrant, who posted uh, four majors. Sorry, Robbie, just before we proceed with the interview, I've just got to stand on this uh, drinks bin here. I was doing jokes. Here we go, <laughs> uh, uh, Robbie, well done today. Probably, uh, is it fair to say, one of the most pleasing aspects about today's game, other than it being a four-quarter performance, but basically you had 22 contributors across the ground. Yeah, exactly, you know. We knew, um, you know, obviously they're playing really good football and um, to beat a side like that, you need to have um, 22, you know, contributors and I think we had that today, especially, you know, our defenders really stood up and we managed to keep them to a pretty low score, so it was good. Just with uh, Lockie Hansen, you've played a fair bit of footy with him uh, deep in the forward line. Looks as though he's found his home in the back half of the ground. I think uh, Spud mentioned he took like six intercept marks. I think he finished with 15 for the game. So he's been an integral component over the past month. Yeah, exactly. I think most of the times it went, uh, it went down there, he managed to just chop it off. So, um, you know, 15 marks, massive effort. And, you know, since he's gone back, I think, you know, around six odd, um, yeah, it's, he's, he's really thrived. So, um, you know, we need to continue. Uh, he needs to continue to do that. And the best thing about Lockie is he can come forward and play forward and we know what sort of role and what he's going to give the team. So, um, yeah, he's, he's playing really good footy at the minute. And we know with uh, North Melbourne uh, that, unfortunately, they've squandered a few uh, hefty leads uh, this year, but uh, you're up by 53 points at half time. What was the driving message from Brad Scott at half time? Um, yeah, we thought we were doing a lot of things right, so, you know, it was just about continuing to do those things, um, you know, for the whole game, and I think, you know, we did that, so it was, as you said before, you know, a four-quarter performance, and, um, you know, really pleasing for the boys. Hey, Rob, it's Gary line up here. How are you, mate? Yeah, good, mate. How are you? What did you think of Ash? Now, Ash is a, uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, one of the greatest statisticians mm. the world of sport's ever seen, but he hasn't done... Too much sort of dressing room stuff before. What have you? How have you rated his first couple of questions? Yeah, no, very good. He's uh, thriving down here on top of the box. So, um, you know, little man syndrome is, is real tough questions. <laughs> well, we got a bit of feedback for him, but we might save it um, until a little bit later. Well done. Thanks for your time, uh, you and Aaron Black and Big Joey Petrie. Uh, it's a good setup. So, good luck for the rest of the year. Cheers. Thanks very much. Um, Chu, are you still there? Uh, yeah, I am, Gary. Right. Uh, yep. now, <laughs> let Robbie go, because we don't want to yeah. just uh, have him sit through this review. Get off your box, Chua. Right, you want the review now? Yep, how did I go? <laughs> well, we thought the first... One of the secrets of being down there is you get the talent, yep. you get your question out, and then you hand it over. Your question went for a minute. Too long, too much, 
Me, 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 me. <laughs> now, yeah, I'm writing this down. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, and Ash, the third one, we said, do not mention the coach. What did he, yeah. And the oh, third no. question three, didn't it? You had two loaded, and then when yeah, Gary yeah. said to the producer, <laughs> put him under the bus and give him the third, <laughs> you pulled out the old Dorothy Dixer. No, no, that was my, uh, that was a bit of byplay, Spud, between uh, you, me, and uh, Gary. And I reckon that when I did ask Robbie that question, <laughs> I reckon he was almost struggling there. <laughs> answer it actually. Sure. Another one for you, for more feedback. Yes. Don't go with the funny stuff <laughs> early. You <laughs> tried to open up with a zinger about standing on the box. <laughs> Flat. <laughs> Flat the whole thing out. Sure. <laughs> we'll be the judge of the funny man. All right. Yeah. Now, can we get James Brayshaw down there too? Can we do that at some stage? No, uh, we'll have a crack. I think he might be currently involved in the uh, team meeting as we speak behind closed He's doors. get another cake, is he? Did he, <laughs> did he get involved in the song, Ash? No, no, he just uh, stood uh, probably a couple of metres behind the rest of the playing group, but he was keen to uh, soak it in when I went up to him to see if we'd nail in an interview. He was very polite. He said, look, Ash... Uh, <laughs> he did not. Uh, he told you there, for <laughs> He told me to go for the multiplayer. <laughs> did he? Whilst did he going sing away the song? The sandwich. <laughs> Are you singing the song? I, no, I was concentrating, uh, standing on that uh, drinks box to try and get the microphone in the huddle there, now, spot, so I couldn't see him. Listen, what are you doing now? What is he doing now? Are you, going going back? To, some, are you going to the loser's room? Oh, I hope no. Right, okay. well, yeah, get pa- pack yourself up and get your little legs working and get to the Richmond okay. rooms, and we'll cross down to you again shortly. Keep your, out, keep your questions shorter, <laughs> and I'm tipping, don't go with the funny in the loser's rooms. <laughs> no, right? worries, uh, no worries, mate. No worries. What a two, man. A lot of love on the Chua on the Twitter. Uh, best start ever. Yo, 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 from <laughs> Chew Man. Yeah, what was that about? Yo, why didn't... This is from uh, the AM and the Agent Chaos. Why don't you interview Scont Thompson or <laughs> even Brad Scont on how good the... Scont. Uh, Mark Howe's been released. This is from Adam Ellerton. He's been released earlier to call footy. Why hasn't Chua been released to start the spa? <laughs> Um, can't wait for this is Gordon Brown. Can't wait for Chua down the rooms. Lucky Scott Pendlebury. <laughs> so Chua is sort of. I'm not sure I've if he's re- memories, re- they? Re- redeemed himself yeah. or not. But he's. Well, I'm really. I'm going to see how he goes around at Richmond. Well, that's going to be the challenge. That's when it'll be icy.